big, beautiful, loving planet called Earth. So today we're going to be doing our weekly tasks from March 11th to March 18th. Or no, wait. Is that right? Yes, March 18th, which is today. And then we're going to uh, have a few new ones from March 20, or March 18th to March 25th. And then, um, and then I'm going to talk about something completely different towards the end of this uh, vlog about something that's going to be happening um, in tomorrow's vlog, which I'll discuss more about in tomorrow's vlog, but, I mean, at, towards the end and then, at, and then in tomorrow's vlog. So, uh, number one was finish reading Anna Karen in a book and maybe start War and Peace. I did finish reading uh, Anna Karen in a book. Which, which we'll talk more about towards the end. Um, number two is finish as many movies from home as possible. I finished I finished five movies from home. Uh, number three was finish watching Eric and Nagashima's live streams on our YouTube channel. And maybe start watching Camilo Cabello's YouTube channel. We have four more live streams to get through. As, the, as of the time of this upload. So let's just let's just refresh everything, because that's those are the only three things I set for this week, uh, and there might have been other things that I added to that list that I might have removed because I didn't want to because I couldn't complete them. But the point is, I completed reading the book, I completed, um, I watched five films, and I watched like three or four uh, of her live streams in this past week. Now, here's what's going to happen. So, we're now that we finish the book, we can watch the movie, the Anna Karenina film, which is a two-hour, ten-minute film, which I'm going to start either uh, I've already either started and finished, or we've started it and uh, we have we haven't been able to finish it yet, but we will. So that's part of of the of that one, um, and then now it's just. Time to start War and Peace by the same author, Leo Tolston, or Tolstoy, not um, Tolston. Um, we're resetting the movies from home uh, for to zero. We're going to continue to keep uh, Eric and Nagashima's channel until we finish the live streams. Like I said, there are four more left to watch. Um, and then we're adding two more, and maybe more, depending on how things go this week. We're go hope to I hope to go and see Immaculate in theaters on on Friday March twenty second, um, and then number five, which I I'm also adding is to go see the River Cats vs Giant Space Bill game on Sunday uh, March twenty fourth, and then also either tomorrow or Thursday I'm going to get a haircut. So that's another thing that we're adding to my weekly tasks for this next week. Now that with that being said, that's everything that um, that's being taken care of in weekly tasks from last week and weekly tasks for next week. Now that brings me to the the final point of today's vlog, which is tomorrow you guys are going to be getting a book review of Anna Karenina. Now there are eight parts to this book. And it's going to be very difficult to read through every single part from um, from Google. So I may only do half of them, or I may do all of them. I'm not 100% certain on what that vlog is going to look like tomorrow, and then I will do a review on it and tell you what I thought of it, and then give you my grade. That is for tomorrow's vlog. And like I said, on Friday, I plan on going to see Immaculate, which is a movie about um, God and the devil and all of that stuff. But it stars Sidney Sweeney and it's only an hour and a half long. That would that would be Friday's adventure. And then Sunday's adventure is the baseball game late at night. It's not until five, like 5 o'clock on uh, next sun, uh, this coming Sunday. And uh, on technically spring starts, uh, the spring equinox is tomorrow. Spring starts on Wednesday, so there's also that as well. And then Easter is a week from Sunday, and then we start April. April's another month uh, that's going to come and go pretty quick. Like so, with that being said, we've got three birthdays to wish today. So I want to wish 
Um, Abigail Cohen, a happy birthday. Grace Elizabeth Krauss, a happy birthday. I want to make sure I got that right. Let's, let me go back to, yes, Krauss. And Lily Collins McDonald, a happy 35th birthday today. And we only have one one birthday on Instagram, and I think there's like three on YouTube that I've got to wish for tomorrow. With that being said, I will see you for the book review of Anna Karenina tomorrow. And bye-bye.